Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all doing well. In this third part of the video series, I will show you how to do texture of this terrestrial globe 3D model in Substance Painter. If you haven't seen the previous parts of this video series, I will recommend you to watch that video, where I have shown how to do 3D modeling and UV unwrapping of this model in Autodesk Maya. You will find the links of the videos in the description below. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Substance Painter. Go to File and click on New. Select your mesh, which you have exported earlier. For document resolution, I will choose 2K resolution, which can be changed later on as well. Leave the rest as default, and click on OK. For this model, I have applied two different materials in Maya. One is for the globe and another material for the rest of the parts, so that I can get two separate layers here to work with. Now from the texture set settings, scroll down, and click on Bake Textures. From here, choose output size to 2048, and uncheck the ID map, and leave the rest of the settings as default. Then click on Bake All Textures. This will bake out all the textures for different materials. Now then, let's start texturing the globe first. Turn off the visibility of the material layer from the texture set list. Let's set the lighting so that we can see the texture clearly. Go to viewer settings, from here you can change environment map and see what looks best for you. This is looking good. Now, let's apply this image texture on the sphere. So, drag and drop this image to the project folder in Substance Painter. This option will pop up in Substance Painter. From here, change undefined to texture, and then, choose import option, as current session. Then click on import. Now, create a fill layer. From here, turn off normal, metal, and height and increase the roughness something like this. And now, drag and drop the image to the base color. Then change the environment map, and adjust the roughness, and see what looks best for you. Now let's create some dust effect for this object. Create a fill layer. From here, turn off normal, metal and height. And then choose a dust color. Increase the roughness quite a bit. I will turn on the height information for the dust. Now, right click on the layer and choose add black mask. Now then, go to Shelf and click on Smart Masks. From here, choose Dirt, then drag and drop it into the layer. Then try out and adjust different settings and see what looks best for you. Now then, select the other layer and turn on the visibility. Delete the default layer. Then go to Shelf and click on Materials. In the search bar, search for Wood Material. Now select Wood Walnut, then drag and drop into the layers. It seems the UV projection is not set properly. Go to Properties Fill and change the projection to try planar projection. Now, try out different settings and see what looks best for you. Now from Materials tab, search for Metal. From here, choose Iron Raw Damaged, drag and drop it on the top of the layer. I want to give this iron texture only to this ring parts and the holder parts. So select the layer, right click and choose Add Black Mask. 
Now click on Polygon Fill Tool. From here, choose UV, and place the slider all over to the white color. And now, select the parts that you want to apply the iron texture. Turn off the globe to see more clearly. And then drag and select those parts. Now adjust the settings as per your choice. I will give old rusted kind of texture effect. So according to that, change the settings and see what looks best for you. Now then, select the globe layer from texture set lists. Here, let's rename the layers so that there is no confusion. Now select the dirt layer, Ctrl C to copy the layer, go to material texture, and press Ctrl V to paste the dirt layer over here. Now, create a fill layer, and then turn off all these channels, except height. Go to shelf, and click on grunges. From here, let's try different grunges, and see what looks best for this model. So then, right-click on the layer and select, add black mask. Let's reduce the height so that we can see the effect more clearly. Then right-click on the layer, and choose, add fill. Now, drag and drop the grunge effects to the grayscale see how does it look. I will try different grunges and see what looks best for this model. Now I will arrange the layers in two, one is for wood and another is for iron. So I will keep the iron layer in the top. Select all these layers and create a new folder. Now right-click on the folder and choose, Add Black Mask. Then select Polygon Fill Tool. And then select all the wooden parts. After that, select all the three layers, then drag and drop into the folder. Now then, I will rename this folder. After that create another folder. Change the name. Then right click and choose, add black mask. Now then, select the polygon fill tool. Then select all the iron parts in the model. After that, create a fill layer. Then from here, turn off normal, metal, and height. And then, change the color, something like this should do. Increase the roughness quite bit. Then right click on the layer, and choose, add black mask. Now go to shelf, and then select smart masks. From here choose edge dusty, then drag and drop it to the layer. Adjust the settings as per your choice. Now, create a fill layer and then turn off all these channels, except height. Now, right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Black Mask. Again, right-click on the layer, and choose, Add Fill. Now then, I will try some grunge effects, and see what looks best for this part. Drag and drop the grunge effect to the grayscale. Adjust the settings and see what looks best for you. Try different grunge effects, and adjust the settings and see what looks best for your model. After all the adjustments, place your camera in a suitable position. And then click on this render button. Here you will find different settings for iRay render. I will set the render time for 30 minutes, so change this to minutes, and set maximum time to 30. You can change the image resolution, as per your choice from here. Click on Override Viewport Resolution, then change the value as per your choice. Try out different settings and see what looks best for you. Here is the settings that I have done. You can set these, as per your choice. For lights I have set studio underscore 03. 
You can keep the background as clear color. And you can change the color from here. You can turn on ground here, and adjust the settings of the ground from here. Play with the render settings, and you are good to go. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comment section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.